Hi, I'm Mara. This is episode 5 of our DGX adventure. It's time to meet the giants of the Jurassic period. Let's get it on! That's right, Moira. Please enter username and password. Key in asset name. Say it with me again, Dino Gene Expert. Activate! Scanning asset genetic imprint. Verifying user access restriction. Loading species profile. As of name, Luis. Apatosaurus Luis. Wow, it's Apatosaurus! It came from the Greek word ABAT or ABAT loss, which means deceptive, and the Greek word Soros, meaning lizard. It is a genus of herbivorous sauropod dinosaurs that lives in the North America. March gave it this name based on the chevron bones, which are dissimilar to those other dinosaurs. Instead, the chevron bones of Apatosaurus showed similarities with those of Mosasaurus. Apatosaurus was the second most common sauropod in the Morrison Formation ecosystem after Camarasaurus. Apatosaurus lubisae fossils are rare, known only from one site in the upper brush basin member. This species, lubisae, is the second apatosaurus to be discovered next to apatosaurus at Gems. Its survival skills include sheer size that keep them safe from smaller predators like allosaurus, and it also has a long neck. It has a unique digestive habits. Apatosaurus probably swallows small stones called gastrolites that it keeps in gizzards similar to that of chicken. They do this to facilitate the processing of food which it could not chew with its teeth. Apatosaurus has bluish gray skin with dark blue striping and dark tan on its underbelly and portions of its face. The body proportions Although based mainly from Jurassic World movie, the overall complexion is derived from Lego Jurassic World game Apatosaurus. Now let's see Louis' scientific classification. Louis is classified under Kingdom Animalia, Phylum Chordata, Class Dinosauria, and Class Sauricea. Louis is further classified into Class Sauropoda. Family Diplodocidae, genus Apatosaurus, and type of species Apatosaurus lewisei. Let's talk about the basic statistics. Apatosaurus length is 79.7 feet or 24.3 meters, weight of 34,466 kilogram, and height of 22 feet. Now it's time for us to do some size comparison. Let's start comparing with regular scobas, which is at 30 feet long, while Louise is at 79.7 feet long. Even if you double the boss, it still won't match up with the Apatosaurus land. Imagine that. Oops, no, 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 that is not Lalong. Is actually twice the land of Lolong, the longest recorded salt water croc. This monster croc is named Ta -da -da! It's Dinosuchus. It is the longest prehistoric crocodile, reaching a length of 41.01 feet. Putting two of these head to tail end will surpass an adult Apatosaurus. That is scary. Dinosuchus was once thought to prey on small apatosaurus come near in watering hole scenes. Look, Moria is beside the apatosaurus. She's 6 feet tall, while apatosaurus is at 22 feet in height. Mm, she looks like a dwarf here, huh? Putting four Moiras on top of each other can beat Louis's towering height. Now let's talk about weight. Let us now compare it to the heaviest extinct primate, Gigantophyticus. At 270 kilograms, it's about 128 times equal to an Apatosaurus. 
Now, if we compare it with 30,000 kilograms handbag whale versus 34,000 apatosaurus, Louis is still heavier by 4,000 kilograms. Now let's compare Apatosaurus with a backhoe weighing 6,802 kilograms. That's, oh yes, five, five backhoes to equal one Apatosaurus. How could we forget the amazing Moses, the Mosasaurus, from our previous episode? He is 14,000 kilograms. Should we double the Mosasaurus weight? It's still far short compared to Louis. You still are a heavy guy, Moses. Drink your milk so you will grow stronger, bigger, and longer. So how was the Apatosaurus discovered? The first known species, Apatosaurus achas, was discovered in 1877, and the second species, Apatosaurus lewisei, followed in 1916 by William Holland in the Morrison Formation of modern-day Colorado, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Wyoming, and Utah in the United States. Apatosaurus lived for about 152 to 151 million years ago during the late Jurassic period. Now let's talk about the special attributes of this creature. Jaws, necks, snouts, limb, claws, and the tail. Apatosaurus jaw are lined with spatulate or chisel-like teeth suited to a herbivorous diet. They need to eat at least 400 kilograms of vegetation daily. That's a lot of vegetables. Mars favorite vegetable is eggplant. And with its long neck, it was able to reach fresh treetop leaves like modern giraffes. Like that. The snout is squared similar to the Blodocoids, unlike previously depicted like Camarasaurus. The scapula of the Apatosaurus lubisae is an intermediate in the morphology between those of Apatosaurus ajax and Brontosaurus excelsus. The arm bones are stout, so the humerus of Apatosaurus resembles that of Gamarasaurus as well as Brontosaurus. The limb bones are also very robust. Apatosaurus has single large claw on each forelimb, a feature shared by all the sauropods, more defined than Shunosaurus. The first three toes had claws on each hind lips as well. Apatosaurus tail was very long, tapering structure resembling a bullwhip, suggestive that the blood of seeds were capable of producing a whip like cracking sound of over 200 decibels comparable to a volume of cannon being fired and producing a sonic boom in excess of 200 decibels which could have been loud enough to kill human from shockwave alone. The whip-like tape which could have been used for visual communication with other apatosaurus. The tail is also used as counterbalance when apatosaurus wants to rear up on its hind leg when reaching high up to the treetops was also held above the ground during the normal locomotions unlike previous depictions. And that is all that we have for you Moria and Opatosaurus. Come back next time. I will definitely will. I'm so humbled by the Opatosaurus. Come join me next time. But for now, goodbye guys! And thanks for watching fellow Bricosaurs. Please like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification button. I'm so thankful for all the views and all your nice comments. Maraming maraming salamat. And remember always to let your inner dino brick roar!